Well, Margaret, here we are at Disney World Campgrounds. Yay! All right, you little beggars. Here, you get out, all right? Get over there to the campsite. Hurry up now. Come on, Mavis, Teddy, Sissy. June, you get over there. Harry, Tony, run over in that area. Just, just move around at will. That's all right. Pick up some sticks and some firewood. Well, Margaret, we made it to the campgrounds. That wasn't too bad a drive, was it? After all, it was only two days and two nights from Fort Smith. I didn't bug you too much, did it? Margaret, well, what about me sitting on this side all the time going bumpity 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 bump? Wasn't easy for me. I guess you must have hit a thousand chuckles between Fort Smith and here. Oh, come on, Margaret. Huh? Listen, let me tell you something. We didn't do this vacation for me or the kids. We did this for you, Margaret so you could get out of that hot, sweaty kitchen and have the fun of your life right here in Disney World. Huh? I'm gonna get out now, Margaret, and come around and get you. What is it with you? Why, you seem to be out on your feet. I can't believe this. You're not gonna tell me that you're tired, that you can't hack it. Come on, Margaret, get out of there. Let's, let's get out and carry some water and maybe, here, wait a minute, let me, let me help you. Are your hands frozen to the wheel? Here. <coughs> Why, they're like claws. That'll be great for carrying water, Margaret. Here, let's get the other one. <clears throat> All right, come on, on your feet. We're gonna have some fun. Chop some firewood. Maybe find some wildlife over here, take some pictures. The kids are... What are you doing, Margaret? What is this kind of a walk? Huh? Well, you're some kind of female Frankenstein. You're gonna scare the kids if you do this. Put your hands down. Stop that. <clears throat> Why, you look like Smokey the Bear after he'd been struck by lightning. Get over here. Sit down here, Margaret. Why, I just can't... Margaret, I can't believe this. Here, you kids. Mavis, Billy Joe, come over here. Mavis and Billy... Jean, Jean, come over here. Never mind, Billy, you stay back there. Get, get a hold of the tent over there. Here, you kids. You grab her here by the wrists. Start moving them like that. Here, honey. Down around the ankles. You're dogging it, Margaret. You're dogging it. Huh? Oh. 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 What are you trying to tell me, Margaret? Ah. Oh. 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 You see, you talked too much in the earlier years when we were first married. Now you've lost your voice. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. oh, too bad. All right, you kids run off now. Go off there. Go off in there into the, into the wilds. There's a lot of things to see. Come on, Margaret. We're going to have some fun, sweetheart. On your feet now. Come on, this is your holiday. Margaret, you've done a fantastic job here. This canvas is perfect. It's very taut. I see the, the legs here are in tight in the ground and then all the pegs. Why, that's just great, Margaret. I'm very proud of you. And I love this campsite. It's just fantastic. Margaret, come on, get a hold of yourself. Here, let's, let's get up. You've got to straighten up here a little bit. Why, you're all bent over, Margaret. Here, straighten up. Isn't it strange, you know, after all these years that we've been married, you get much taller than I do. You get taller and taller, and I, I get shorter and shorter. I don't suppose you've been fooling around with those voodoo dolls again, have you? Huh? Tell me the truth now, Margaret. Here, let's move right over here. You sit right here and we'll gather the kids around, right here by the fire. That's good, Margaret, right down there. Take your time, my dear. Here we go, all right, kids, everybody, come on, let's gather around here. It's time once again for our family powwow. Daddy gets his feather here. All right, you get situated around Mommy there. Yes, sir, and I'll put my feather in. There we go. Ah, ah, gang. All right. Say, Willie, what do you got there? Let me take a look at those. Uh-oh, those aren't robin's eggs. No, sir, those are mommy alligator eggs. That's what they are. You better be careful and you put those back right away, or mommy alligator will get after you and go, uh, <laughs> and you'd be gone just like that. Ah, that gnat. What was that gnat? Oh. What, what's the matter, Mavis? Did you think that was Tinkerbell? Why, I'd know Tinkerbell if I saw her, that little funny gnat. <laughs> it is Tinkerbell. Gee, I almost crippled her. Take a look at her wings. One of them's bent. Here, I'll straighten that out. You see that? What I'll do is just work those wings back and forth. Maybe give her a little mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Ever do that to a gnat? It's not easy. There she goes. Isn't that fantastic? Good luck to you, Tinkerbell. 
Mother, that gives me an idea. Margaret, pull yourself together. The kids are staring at you. Listen, how about a little game? Remember that fantastic game where I play William Tell and, and you stand there maybe about 50 or 75 yards away with an apple on your head? Uh -huh. Remember that, Margaret? Remember that, kids? And I forgot to put the rubber tip on last time. And Mom, right in the head. She had some kind of headache, didn't she? Where is Mommy? Hey, kids, come on, let's go get Mommy. Here, remember? All right, everybody in unison. We're gonna track down Mommy, everybody. We're gonna track down Mommy. <laughs> Yes. Hi, y'all. I'm Carl Crackle from Weevil Sea, Georgia. I'm sort of a tracker, you might say. These are my two dogs here, Jesse and Kudja, just playing around there in the sand. <laughs> They're good hound dogs, I'll tell you. You know, a little while back here, about 15 or 20 minutes ago, there was a, like a crazy man went through here. He must have had six to eight kids. It looked at least that many. He come up upon me and uh, Kudja and Jesse, and he said, uh, you a tracker? And I said, you lose them, we get them. <laughs> That's a little, little track of funny that I always throw in when we, well, shoot. At any rate, uh, he, said, uh, he said, I've lost the missus. I lost my wife. Could you help me out? He said, what about them two dogs? He said, the one dog, and I said, which one? Now, make sure you, and he pointed over to Jesse, and Jesse kind of looked up at him, rolled his eyes around and everything. He said, that dog's coat's kind of mangy, ain't it? And I said, it is kind of mangy. I said, that's his second coat. His first coat was a good one, but his second coat, has borrowed from the VA. The other dog is just, well, he, 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 he put his nose there in, a, in some kind of bobcat trap. And uh, somebody asked me the other day, they said, how does it smell? <laughs> And I said, terrible. <laughs> That's a little swamp joke. <laughs> oh, shoot. I don't believe these uh, two dogs could ever find that woman. I, I'm not kidding. Of course, Jesse here now, uh, well, about six, eight years ago, there was a hurricane down here, and he lost all his teeth. And uh, prior to that, why, one day he was just sitting there, his, he only had about six, eight good ones, good teeth, that is, and he commenced to kind of howl through his teeth like, and he was howling the, the Battle Hymn of the Republic. <laughs> he didn't go over too good down here. Folks thought he was a blue belly. They booed him. He put his tail between his legs and he cut on out like that. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing like that, but I just, I had a log fall on me here Sunday week and I haven't been right since. Well, at any rate, uh, like I say, these two dogs, uh, they, they used to track folks, you know, but here lately, they've gotten so old, and one of them's kind of attached. He just runs around in circles. That's Kudja. He just goes around like this. <laughs> you know, that's not right for anybody to do it, let alone a dog. Well, you all take care here. As far as catching that woman, I, these two dogs, they couldn't do it. I'll tell you why, because they got sinus conditions, both of them. I have two. So about three of us, I guess you might as well say we're out of it. <laughs> you all take care here. If you see that guy, why... Tell him I said, Lord, I sure do hope he catches the messes. It's kind of fun catching the messes, isn't it? Every yeah, once in a while. <laughs> Y'all take care. Come on, Cudgeon Jesse. Come on, boy. Come on, boys. What's that? Good night, why, there's cowboys.